Hello everyone. We will continue the topic PF status in ALV. In the previous video, we checked that how SAP created the PF status. Same way we searched and rather than using SAP name, we replaced by our name because with that name, we have to create a subroutine. Now, whatever the logic we will write in between this form and end form, that logic will execute. Now, we all know how to create our own functions. How to create? We have a specific syntax. I will say set pf status and we will give some name to the pf status suppose name of the pf status suppose i am giving sales i will double click on to this name it is asking do you want to create gui status yes i want to create yes I will give some description to the PF status. Suppose I'm saying sales order PF status. I will go for OK. Now we will go to application toolbar. Now here I will create my own button. Suppose I'm giving the name display. Whatever the name we are giving here, that will be extremely important because with that name we have to use in the code. Suppose if I will double click on to this and you can see with the same to same name, SAP will create a function code and we will use in the coding at that point of time. I will go to OK. I will give some function text. Suppose I am say, saying display. I will choose some icon with the help of F4 help. We'll take some relevant icon display. We'll choose this icon underscore display. I will give the information text. Suppose I'm saying to display the item details. Whatever we are doing here, everything will be visible to us. I'll go to OK. I will take a shortcut. Every button has a shortcut. Suppose I'm taking shift plus F1. I will write some icon text. Suppose same to same information text, I will copy into icon text also. I'll go to OK. I will go for activate. I will go to back button and I will activate the program. Now what will happen? Whenever we will execute the program, Control will come to this function module reuse ALB grid display. It will check is in front of I underscore callback PF status set. Have you given any name? Yes. With the same name, do you have a subroutine? So SCP will simply, simply execute this subroutine, whatever the logic we have written into this subroutine. And inside this subroutine, we wrote a logic to create our own function. In this particular thing, we create our own display button. So our button will display. Now I will simply execute. Firstly, I will run and then we will proceed further. I will go to execute. You can see we created the pf status but our button is not displayed here our button is not displayed here same thing i mentioned in the 
top of page topic also we covered each and every step of top of page but our top of page did not appear in the output so at that time i told you that we have to compulsory give the program name else it will not appear same thing applicable here also if you want to give your own functions you should always always pass the program name so I will simply uncomment the parameter I underscore call that program. In front of this parameter, I will give the name to the program. Many times people will do the each and everything, but because of this misstep, their output expected output will not come. So I am passing the system variable for report ID which will give system variable for report ID or report name. Now, whenever I will just run the program and I will execute. Now you can see display button is coming in the output and you can see this is the same to same button. It is in the application toolbar we have a shortcut shift plus F1. We have a information text to display the item details. We have the icon. Everything is there. Now you can see all other SAP functions got disabled. Previously, we have lots of SAP functions. Now all those functions got disabled. Now only our, our function is disabled. System and help, anyways, it is always, always there. That's why they are visible to us. But all extra functions, all are disabled now. But every customer requires a back button. So for this time being, we will enable this back button. We know this back button is in function keys. So we will enable as a part of function key. So I will just go to the program. I will go to change mode of the program. Now what I will do, I will go to my PF status. I will go to function keys and I will enable the back button. I will write back. I will activate. I will go to back. Whenever I will run the program and whenever I will give the input and you can see the back button is enabled. Now, if I will go to back, now the back is there. If I will go to execute, yes, you can see this is our own button now. Now, what is our next part of the requirement now? Whenever user will select a whenever user will select a row and click on to this button we need to display the data from the item table suppose user is selecting this record and whenever user will sell, click on to this button we will display the item data of these five zeros to from VBAP table. This is our requirement. This part we will continue in the next video. Thank you.